Hey everybody, so uh, today I'm going to make a little video on um, AI and uh, deep learning. Now, uh, again, as you know, if you've watched some of my videos, I'm not an expert here. This is just a absolute introduction of what I know so far about the subject. So I usually just, you know, investigate, play around, and then I make a video like this. Um, at the beginning of my learning journey about this, more so to document it for myself, but um, you know, so I don't forget what uh, you know what I learned. But uh, be as it may, what we're going to try and do today is then teach a machine learning, or a uh, or not a machine learning, teach a uh, intelligent AI, um, artificial intelligent machine. Um, card. So I got this video, um, I, I studied it from a, a, another guy on the internet, a guy from NVIDIA. Um, I watched his video and sort of this is what I learned. So first of all what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to Amazon and I'm going to um, rent a machine from them that contains GPUs. And then I'm going to load Apache MXNet on there. Um, and that basically what it means is a computer with GPUs is it contains a specific um, uh, you know processor that's made for um, uh, uh, AI type processing so why would we use something like that you know if you use a Ivy bridge or whatever normal processor um, you know you can see the, the type of um, uh, instruction increase you know this does 0 0.7 teraflops and here you get to 9.5 on the big ones these CPUs are specifically made for this task and that's one of the reasons why AI is growing so fast now is because these things have been created and can now be used and and so AI machines are so much faster than they were in earlier when we only ran them on normal CPUs so, be as it may. First step, let's rent a, a computer from Amazon. So, um, I'm going to go into EC2 here. And um, I have no running instances, so I'm going to create a new running instance. And I'm going to look over here, and I'm going to look for deep learning. Okay, and there we go. And I'm going to take this Amazon Linux version and I'm going to select that. It's going to tell me all the costs and stuff involved. This is not free, especially if you uh, rent a machine with GPUs in it. So what I'm going to rent here is a machine with a GPU compute. Uh, let's take this one. Uh, two extra large. Okay. Um, I'm just going to rent that for a for a small period or uh, no you know what uh, yeah I guess I guess that's the one um, where am I Oregon um, uh, let's hope I can uh, I can use this so there we got two extra large CPU um, and I'm going to launch and review it um, I'm going to make sure that my um, security group here let me just update that and I'm gonna add a rule here um, and I'm gonna put port 8888 in there from uh, anywhere so um, uh, excuse that and um, so that's just my firewall and everything's good and I'm going to launch it um, I am going to use an existing key and I'll just use this viv AI. Uh, okay, so there it goes. It's now going to create this instance for me. Uh, let's see. is it's initializing 
Okay, and there we have our little instance running now, P2 extra large, and as you know, that's got a GPU if you saw. So GPU in there. So next thing is I'm going to um, try and use my uh, use putty to uh, connect to that instance. So I'm going to use something like this, um, and let's try and get uh, the actual command in there. Um, let me see if I can get. Okay, do I have everything? Let's see. There we go. But of course, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm running putty and I'm setting up a tunnel 127001 uh, 888 localhost to 127001 888 on the other side. So I'm just tunneling my local IP to a local IP on that side. I'm using my key and this IP address, since I ordered a new machine, obviously is different now. So um, there it is. Let's see, connect. And that's a machine name right there. So copy. Well, let's go back into our party over here. And I'm going to put the machine name in there. And let's see if I can get in there. Yes, I will trust this machine. And I'm going to log in as EC2 this user, I believe. And I'm in. Well, there we go. Great, that worked easy. So what I have now is I have a normal computer, but this computer has one of these things in. It has a GPU in. Uh, um, so um, you know, let let's uh, use that and and to to do this little exercise. So that's that's the biggest difference here. So first thing is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone from Git a thing called Notebooks. Um, this is what the creator uh, of this um, demo has done for us. He's created this little notebooks thing that we can download. Um, uh, um, and that's a sort of a testing and development type environment. So, um, and then I'm going to uh, um, start the notebook by doing something like uh, that. Juniper, which is like their web server, and uh, start notebook. So uh, give it a few seconds to start up. Okay, that has started up, and um, now I'm going to um, hit um, what we call uh, then localhost. But remember, I'm going to hit my localhost on my own machine, but that's going to tunnel through to the other side. Uh, on port 888. So um, if we were to hit it something like that, in theory we'll get to the other side and that's now the Jupiter. Um, and um, so the, the framework they installed on this machine for us is uh, called MXNet um, and, um, and CUDA drivers and all that to talk to that GPU. So that's all pre-installed with this machine that I rented. They're running the development environments Python, and I'm going to run this thing called online dot uh, a Python book. And in here, they have some examples. So the one I want to try today is this um, uh, this one that hand uh, written digits. It's going to try and recognize. So the plan with this is that you can see here's the code, but the the, the main idea is. We're going to try and teach this computer to recognize these uh, um, numbers. Let's call them flashcards then. We're going to say, hey, here's some flashcards, um, and this is what they are. So how it works in AI is we're going to train the computer. You know, We're going to tell the computer this is a 5, this is a 0, and this is a 4, and that's a 1, and that's a 9, and so forth. And we're going to tell it that, and then say, now learn this. And then we're going to ask you later what you learned. So, and that's really how it works in AI. Where we, we we have some test data, and some uh, we 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 simply just tell the computer this is what a five looks like. Learn what a five looks like, and then later we'll ask it some questions. So, very simple. Um, 
as you can see it gets mathematically very very complex but this model has been run before but um, I'm gonna rerun it now so um, let me just trust this and I'm going to also then um, the kernel's ready and I'm going to um, go in here and I'm gonna say run all so now I'm gonna restart and run this this kernel or this application for the first time so what we're doing now is and we're, we're in this section is we are teaching the computer these uh, specific digits if I can put it that way we are teaching it at the moment so somewhere in here there's the, uh, there'll be some output it takes a few seconds to get that output going okay so as you can see here the computer has started it started learning so on its first pass on, on identifying the little um, uh, uh, digits, it only got a 11% accuracy. Then it got up to 40, 80, 90%, 94%, 96%, 97%. So what it's really doing at the moment is it is looking at the image we gave it, comparing it to what we say it should be, meaning we gave it... Uh, this image and said it should be a 5 so it's gone through 11 percent accuracy 20 40 60 90 100 percent and this computer now understands once it gets over 90 percent it understands how uh, a 5 looks and it claims it it understands it so at this point then we are now going to say well since you now know what it looks like let's uh, test you so now I can manually test this computer um, um, it, it claims it has learned up to above 96 percent and you have you know in in this programming uh, um, of this model over here we can say where to stop and where um, uh, uh, what value to use so we are now going to say well what does this look like and we're going to ask it to classify it now it might not be finished learning it this computer is unfortunately a bit slow let's have a look down the bottom oh it's still busy 97 98 um, it's still busy learning I'm sorry um, it's getting down on its accuracy 99 percent uh, sorry it's set pretty high so yep it's good it it's it's good now I, I think it's good now and we're going to ask it and it thinks it's a five which is pretty amazing so I'm going to draw this let's see what it thinks that is oh, it thinks it's a two uh, what's this oh it's a one now it's not fail proof though um, I mean if I draw this it says it's a seven if I try and draw this it says it's a nine but if I draw it more like that, yeah, it's pretty good. It depends on how bad my handwriting is, I guess. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if it knows what a 3 is. Yep, there it is. So that's the basic thing that's happened here. Is, um, uh, in this demo then, we taught this computer, and you could see it learning over here. Um, what these images are so we gave it uh, uh, what we wanted to learn and we gave it some answers and said this is what these things are so it learned what these things are and how to identify them and then we could ask it questions afterwards so this is uh, you know this computer is now maybe the equivalent of a one or a two year old with some flashcards but you can hold up and say you know what is this and then he thinks it's a seven um, you know it's not a perfect computer yet but uh, um, uh, um, but the computer will learn from it um, so they had thought it's a two again you know um, but uh, um, uh, with more training um, if you run through this training more and more and get the accuracy better then um, it will it will do better at these tasks if, if I can put it that way so um so well there you have it then um i am going to give back the machine to um to our friends at uh, um, amazon and um thank you very much um 
and uh, we'll create some more videos and and uh, learn a little bit more about AI. Thank you.